Section 254, capacitors continued after example 12. Um, so now the question is, how much work does it take to charge up a capacitor? And um, so we're going to use uh, some basic formulas. This is straight up algebra. So work equals the charge times the potential, right? And we know that the potential is equal to the current charge on the plates over capacitance. What, why am I using little q? Well, basically we're going to walk up from the, the plates have zero charge to the plates have a capital Q charge. And this is what it had at some intermediate point in the process. This is what the, um, what the uh, work is going to take to move like um, a little bit of charge. So the, how much work does it take to move a little tiny bit of charge? So the infinitesimal amount of work that we need is just Q times V, which is Q over C. So Q squared, um, oh, I'm sorry, Q over C is the potential and we're moving a tiny bit of charge across that potential. And then if you integrate over that, so you get the work is equal to the integral starting from zero and going all up to capital Q of Q over C dQ which this is rather trivial integral um, is just going to be uh, let's see one over c one half q squared evaluated between zero and q so it's just uh, one half q squared over c and we can rewrite that if we use you know q equals cv we use that equation then we just uh, get 1 over half C V squared. Okay. Uh, you could have also used some of the other equations um, that we talked about earlier to calculate the energy for a particular charge configuration. Um, the one that's most interesting is the this one that says that the work is 1 half the integral of the rho, the charge, times the potential, times the tau. So just not even thinking about building up the charge, just saying it currently has a positive charge and um, just go over each spot and of course inside it's zero and there's a surface anyway you can figure it out okay thanks hope you had fun this is actually the end of chapter two so have a little party um, get ready for your test if you're studying this in a class and uh, thanks bye